Welcome to another video. This is a common problem in number theory or in math competitions. You're supposed to find the number of digits if you multiply 2 by itself 100 times. You're going to get a number. How many digits will that number have? That's the question. And there are two ways, two very effective ways to answer this question. The easier way is to use a formula, but that means you also need to have a small calculator that has the logarithmic function, okay? You have to be able to find the log base 10 of a number if you don't already have it memorized. So if you're going for math competitions, you have to know what log two is at least to four decimal places. That's essential. Maybe more than that, depending on what the exponent is, because if this exponent is like 1,000, then you might as well have to memorize up to four decimal places or maybe five decimal places. So that's the problem with using the formula. Or you might just use the property of 2 to the 10th power, which is something you have to memorize because that's what you call 1 gig. That's 1024. And 1024 is approximately 1,000, right? No, I know. But that's what you have to say. So the two, form, the two ways of solving this will require that you use a calculator to find the log if you don't have it memorized already, and if you're lucky enough that the number you're given is 2. Because if you're given a number like 11, you don't know log 11, uh, then you're stuck. You'll need a calculator. For this video, I'm going to use just the formula. I'm going to state the formula. I'm going to use it, and that's it. In another video, I might do the number theory way of using 2 to the power 10, which is more interesting. Okay. Let's get into the video. So the formula for the number of digits in any express in any number, we say that let D be the number. of digits in A raised to power B, where A, B are integers. Okay, you want them to be integers, otherwise you'll be getting some weird stuff, okay? The, the positive integers are, are positive integers, are integers positive. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to rewrite that. Then, d is equal to the exponent, the floor of the exponent b times the log to base 10 of a plus 1. This is the formula you need. So, that means we can easily compute this. Number of digits in 2 raised to the power 100 equals d. Okay, let's write this d. We have d will be equal to get out of here. We got d will be equal to the floor of the exponent 100 times log to base 10 of 2 plus 1. That's it. So if you know log 2 base 10, not natural log, don't use natural log, okay? Unless you want to convert it and that's what you've, you have memorized. If you do that, what do we have here? This is going to be the floor of 100 times log base 2. I had that memorized in high school and I still remember it's 3010. I was always saying I will never live to 3010. That's too far away. So it's going to be 0 0.3010. Let's make it multiplication plus 1. 
This is equal to the floor of 100. Or oh, if we multiply this, what would that be? Multiply 100 by this, you move the decimal point twice, so that's 30.1. So it is the floor of 30.1 plus 1. So D, what is the floor of 30.1? Remember, it is the largest integer less than or equal to 30.1, and the number is 30. So this is equal to 30 plus 1 which is equal to 31. That's it. So 2 raised to the power 100 has 31 digits. And if you really want to see what 2 raised to the power 100 looks like, let me write it here. Okay. These are the digits of 2 to the 100. 31 digits. The last digit is 6. That's another test question. What is the last digit of 2 raised to the power 100? Now you see that it's going to be 6. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.